welcome to Class Mech 2. So a big theme of our class is going to be to study different types of um, equations of motion, um, to study dynamics of different types of systems. So to start out, we're going to revisit some of the ideas that we've seen time and again in prior mechanics classes. So today we're going to be looking at um, Newton's laws as differential equations. And then in the later two videos, we're going to look at um, applications to um, fairly straightforward systems. We're going to look at drag and we're going to look at um, oscillations. To get started with today, let's look at Newton's laws. So Newton's first law, which is also the law of inertia, says an object at rest stays at rest unless acted on by an external force. So translating this into math, this is saying that the change in momentum is zero if the net external force is zero. Newton's second law, which were um, maybe most familiar with um, is often said as F equals MA. So this is the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the force that's applied. So this is saying mathematically dP by dt is equal to F. Um, so this is, this is our standard F equals MA statement. Um, the last one is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Um, so mathematically, this is saying that if I have um, a force, um, F12 is saying I have a force acting on particle one coming from particle two uh, is equal to minus the force on particle two coming from particle one. So today we're going to be focusing on this equation here. So dP by dt is equal to force. Um, so this is a differential equation as written, but let me rewrite it so it's only in terms of um, position variables. So momentum is mass times velocity. So I can rewrite this as mass times dV by dt, which is also equal to mass times d squared x by dt squared is going to be equal to our force, which can be a function of position, velocity, or time. Um, so this is um, the, the sort of standard equation of motion, um, and we're going to think about different ways to solve it. Before I get there, um, let's talk briefly, do an aside on um, separable differential equations. So if we have this equation here, so dy by dx is equal to f of x times g of y, and we want to solve for y as a function of x, um, any equation of this form is called a separable equation. So the idea behind a separable equation is that I can group all of the terms involving y on one side and all of the terms involving x on the other side. So I'll do that like this. So I have uh, the y terms over here and the x terms over here. Um, and then from here, I can integrate. So on the left, I'm going to be integrating from y of position x naught to the final uh, y as a function of x. And on the right, I'm going to integrate from our starting position x naught to x. And so this is our variable position. And from here, all I need to do is solve for y as a function of x, and I get the trajectory for this particle. And you'll notice that all of my um, initial conditions um, are being implemented in the integral. So I'm starting at x naught, 
um, and my position at x naught is y of x naught right here. So we're going to put this into use um, as we think a little bit more about um, different types of um, differential equations of motion that we're going to run into. Um, so here are um, three of the most common um, equations we will see. We might imagine having a force that's only a function of time. Um, later today, we're going to think about force as a function of velocity, but we could also have force that's a function of position. So the first two of these equations um, are really first order ODEs. So this one, this one is a second order, but I can very easily convert it into a first order equation. So let's start with that one. Um, and I can rewrite um, x double dot as just dv by dt. Um, and this is uh, clearly a separable equation. I have no function of v and all of my functions of t are gathered here on the right. Um, and so from here, I uh, can gather my terms and, um, and I can integrate. So I'm going to integrate here from uh, my velocity at time zero. So my initial velocity to my velocity as a function of time. And I can integrate over here from my initial time, time zero to time t. Um, and then I'm going to have to change these all to, to dummy variables um, so I don't get my t's confused. Um, so an example of problems like this is um, imagine I have a ball thrown upwards from height h with velocity v naught. What is the maximum height? Um, so this is actually asking now something about position. What I've written down here is something that's a function of velocity. So I have v as a function of t minus v naught is equal to some function. So if I want to get my position coordinates, I just integrate it again. So I integrate once more and I will get my x as a function of t. Um, so the next type of equation um, we'll look at is um, times velocity dot is equal to some force that's a function of velocity. Um, so in this case, this is very clearly a separable differential equation. It's going to have a bit of a different form. Um, so this is dv by dt is equal to 1 over m um, times this force as a function of velocity. And we'll talk about um, these types of forces um, in the next video. Um, so I can, again, group terms as such. Um, and I integrate exactly the same way as I did before. So I will have some integral from v naught to v of t, and I'm going to integrate the right side from 0 to t, dt prime. Um, and so this will get me um, some function on the left. This is going to involve velocities. Um, and then I have 1 over m times t on the right side. So I need to be able to invert this equation to analytically solve for the velocity. Um, so an example of this problem is a baseball is thrown with quadratic drag. How far will it go? Um, so we will discuss what quadratic drag means. So don't, don't worry about that. But this is, again, a way of um, integrating solutions to uh, different types of equations of motion. So the last equation, um, this equation here, is not a straightforward equation, at least not compared with the others. Um, so this isn't, this is a second order equation. And um, at first sight, it's not separable. 
Um, so I can write this as um, dv by dt is uh, 1 over m times f of x. Um, and this, again, I've got functions of v, functions of t, and functions of x. So this isn't a priori separable. But there's a trick I can do. So I can rewrite dv by dt. Um, and pay attention to this trick, because we're going to be using similar things um, throughout class. And we're basically going to be applying the chain rule to this. Um, so I'm going to write dv by dt um, as equal to dv by dx dx by dt. And you'll notice dx by dt is just velocity. So this is going to be equal to v times dv by dx. And now this is a separable differential equation. So my equation now is v dv by dx is equal to 1 over m f of x. So now I can integrate both sides of this equation um, after I move my x term over here. Um, so I can integrate from 0 to x, and I change my x's to x primes, and I integrate from my initial velocity to my velocity as a function of position. Um, so these are going to be some tricks uh, we'll think about um, over the course of um, the rest of the semester. And in the subsequent videos, we're going to follow up by um, more specific examples of uh, first and second order ODEs and some interesting physics that comes from them.